Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm G&G and in today's episode of Sleeping Giant we are taking on Le Havre away from home before we to have a home tie against Socho and you may have guessed from the title that our form has not been great uh, if we take a look at it here. Since the last episode when uh, we lost our unbeaten run at Bastia we then lost again to Anansi 1-0 uh, again and uh, that was two defeats in a row after going unbeaten at the start of the season. We then won our first round of the Coupe de France, a 3-0 win away at a lower league team. And then we lost again in the league 1-0 away at Nîmes. And that was three league defeats in a row, which seen the gap close at the top of the table. We then took on Pau at home and won 5-0 in a big return to form. And just take a quick look at this game. Scored after a minute through Bajai, which was a huge relief with the form we'd been in. Uh, we dropped Josh Madger for this game because he was out of form, but he actually came off the bench and scored. So, yeah, he got, ended his uh, long goal drought in that 5-0 win. And he actually scored two in our next cup match against uh, Bergerac. Uh, Bergerac, who uh, had a goal scored by Colombo. So, strong detective vibes there <laughs> in that team. But, uh, yeah, a 3-0 win in the cup. Putting us through to the next round where we will be taking on uh, Ligue 1 side Toulouse in the next round. And uh, that's a game we will cover in the next future episode. But, uh, yeah. So we won two cup games but lost three out of four league games and uh, going into this game against Le Havre we'll take a look at the league table. Le Havre have actually dropped down the table too, they were second, they're now fourth, it's Paris FC up in second. We have a seven point lead at the top of the table, we've now lost three games but thankfully we won 11 from 15 and still in a very strong position. So that is a catch up on our poor form really. Uh, we did have the World Cup break uh, in 2022 here, played a few friendlies in that during that time to get my sharpness up again not fully back to full fitness but we are feeling pretty much our strongest 11 and uh, just uh, Rory Garrison has a knock he may not last the 90 bit of match sharpness issues but uh, we should be okay and Josh Madger will start on the bench with Bakwa starting up front with Bajai in our new strike partnership that hopefully will get a few more goals for us so that's the team let's get the kickoff on the way here for this game away to Le Havre as I said uh, we won one of four league games before the World Cup break Le Havre also in poor form so this could be a bit of a scrappy match but it would be great to restart our season and get a win here away from home against a team that were challenging up towards the top of the table before they dropped off recently five minutes gone here though it's nil nil throw in for Le Havre here right in the corner and they try and play it around and get across in and they get it they're pushed back out of the box and we try and press them on and they retain possession, passing around nicely. Now they go over the top. They're true, and they've scored. Was he onside? He was, and we go 1-0 down after just 11 minutes here. Oh, simple ball over the top. We had pushed them back out of the box, but then we were uh, caught a bit napping, getting slow out, and keeping them onside. We'll have a look, maybe they'll show the replay. Over the top, all our defenders beaten past uh, Poussin in goals, and that is disappointing to concede this early away from home we'll have a look here at the tight outside oh very tight two or three defenders very slow in pushing out and that gave Le Havre the chance to take the lead here now coming on the attack again 28 minutes gone here they have kept the lead despite us having a lot of the ball we haven't had a shot on target yet here they come Le Havre again they take another shot oh hits the roof of the net as it goes over and we get away with it there Le Havre seem very dangerous when they do attack and we really need to wake up here half an hour gone and we're one nil down and it's Le Havre coming on the attack again but Fran Sergio wins it back now it's with Barbet he stands on it and brings it forward back all the way to Poussin in goals and he plays it to Boy and what, what can he do here's Moanga on a yellow card at the centre back out to Michelin here's Bakwa gets torn Fran Sergio into uh, Rode Gar Gregerson into Bajai Bakwa makes the run can he finish Bakwa yes he can we're level brilliant from Bakwa in ahead of Josh Madja and he is repaying the faith there with that goal. Lovely link up between the two strikers. And that is good to see. Uh, partnership may be forming now between those two. Fran Sergio into Bajai. Takes control of it. Pass it through the back wall. Shows his pace. And that is a lovely finish past the keeper. And with 32 minutes gone now. We're back on level terms here. 1-1. Half time here in Le Havre. And it is 1-1. We went behind after 12 minutes. But we didn't. Came into the game stronger. Got level through back wall, And we've dominated possession without creating much since then. But we are back on level terms and in with a real shot of taking a win here in the second half. Second half is on the way here and as I said we've dominated possession well over 60% and uh, only created two shots on target. One of those being Bakwa's goal so we need to be better in front of goal. 
hopefully we can be. And uh, the have, as like ourselves, have been in bad form, so confidence may be low. If we can get ahead, it may be enough to take the three points here. The Har with a free kick uh, out just outside the box. Is he going to go for goal? I'd say he will. Plenty of men in the box either. He takes the shot, puts it in, has to get across and push it out for a corner. Good save from our keeper, who has been in good form despite our uh, dodgy form. But we have to defend this corner now. And in it comes towards the middle of the box. Headed clear. Can Mwanga get there? He can. He takes it down. And that's the end of the highlight, so it stays 1 1. Ball played forward towards Bajai, but he's beaten in the air, so Le Havre come on the attack and they try and pass us through us. Plenty of men back here, putting pressure on the man. He takes the strike. Oh, just over. Good attempt from distance, but thankfully going over. And uh, we do concede a lot of shots from distance, but that time doesn't cost us. Corner kick here for Le Havre, 12 minutes to go. It comes into the middle of the box, puts in, comes out, punches it clear, and it falls to Le Havre on the edge of the box, and they try and create something here. Can we push out? We don't want to be caught like we were for the first goal. But here they pass it through. Play it across the box. Barbet cuts that out. Now can he calmly get us up the pitch back to the keeper? He brings it forward. And now we should be set for an attack. Here's Ismail Sow, a young wing back we've brought in from the reserves. And he's now in for Michelin. Ball played over to the other wing back, Nasimba. He brings it forward. He has to cut back. Has options here like Barbet into Sissoko. Back to Nasimba. And he goes back to Barbet again, so a little triangle of passing here. Then a crossfield ball to Sow, who's in a bit of space. And can he get across? He can. Here's Fran Sergio. Can he get across? Sow! Oh, brilliant! It's gone in off Dabo, who's come off the bench, this young striker. I think that was Sow's shot, deflected in off him. Don't care, really, as it's just more important that it went in. Brilliant crossfield ball from our captain. Picks out Sow. He cuts in to Fran Sergio. It's played back to Sow. His shot hits uh, Dabo goes in and when you are out of form like we've been lucky goals like that are a must here we come again at barbet in possession bringing it forward into piriguel who is on in midfield and he here he is piriguel into fran sergio gets turned out to sow he's done well since he come on now he plays a ball over the top it doesn't know it's out to nasimba nasimba brings it forward fran sergio plenty of space here fran sergio oh hits the crossbar and Lloris clears it for Le Havre, but we come again, Fran Sergio. Oh, poor touch. And that is cleared out for a corner kick. And we really are putting Le Havre under some pressure here. And it will be so to take the corner. Plenty of men in there. Can we pick out someone and get a goal here to kill off this game? Here it comes in towards the near post. Oh, beaten in the air there, but Nasimba wins it. Back to Fran Sergio. Back to Sao. He's in a lot of space. He was offside, that's why he was in a lot of space. That'll bring that highlight to an end. Eight minutes to go, and we're 2 1 up. Full time whistle goes here in Le Havre, and it is a 2 1 win. Dabo's lucky goal getting us the three points here, and uh, a much needed win to get us back after the World Cup break and after that poor run of form. And if we take a quick look at the table, you'll see it does stretch our lead now at the top back to Nimes to nine points, and with 16 games gone, that's a nice lead to have. So let's take it on now and hopefully take this form on when we take on So Show. So here we are with the lineup for the game against Socio coming just three days after that game against Le Havre and it comes too soon for Fran Sergio who was struggling to be fully fit. So he drops out of the team and Ignatenko comes in, a Ukrainian midfielder who hasn't played much in the league so far. So he gets a rare start and let's hope he can show why he needs to be playing more in this game. Apart from that, it is the same team that took on Le Havre. So let's get the kickoff. On the way for this home game against Osho and hopefully we can make it two wins from two and show a real return to the form we had earlier in the season before we lost those three league games in a row and build on that win away against Le Havre. Uh, coming up to five minutes gone, it's nil-nil. First highlight here is a Socio throw-in and Ignatenko intercepts down to Gregerson who has his early yellow card as usual. Here's Badjai, he loses it but it falls to Michelin and can he get across? No, he has to cut back to Mwanga into Ignatenko. He loses the possession. Can he win it back? He can. Good from the Ukrainian there. Here's Michelin. And he brings it infield. What can he do? He plays it over the top towards Bajai. He gets up in the air. Heads it on to the roof of the net. And a chance goes a begging there for the striker. And with 28 minutes gone, it stays nil-nil. Throw in for us here. Michelin to take it down to Bakwa. And he goes back to Mwanga. Into Rode Gar Gregerson. Rode Gregerson is holding that midfield role now. We've moved him around to being right in the centre of the tree. Here is Bajai into Michelin as we try and come on the attack. Michelin takes the shot. Oh, just wide. The wing back 
taking it on, taking the shot, but firing it just wide. Throw in for Sosho right in the corner, and they go to try and clear it long, but Nasimba intercepts it. Here's Sissoko into Bajai. Oh, good tackle from their defender, but we will win it back here with Barbet, and he brings it forward to Sissoko into Nasimba, back to Barbet, and we pass it around nicely. He plays it over the top towards Bajai. Did he stay on side? He heads it on to Bakwa, and the keeper is forced into a brilliant save. Bajai did stay on side. Chance fell to Bakwa, but sadly he fired straight at the keeper. But we do have the corner here, and it will be Michelin to take it. In it comes towards Barbet. Oh, it's in at the far post. No one can get to it. It's headed back, cleared by Socho. And that's the end of the highlight as we come up to half time. It looks like we're going to go in level at 0 0. Being the better team again, they haven't had a shot so far in the game. We've had two on target, 11 overall, and 59% possession. So we have been in control. We just need to be more clinical and more creative in front of goal in the second half so here we go for the second half told the team i wasn't happy with that first half performance so hopefully we see a reaction in the second half this should be a game we win and it would be nice to get six points from six as the league season resumed after that world cup break and uh, keep our lead at the top of the table five minutes gone here and it is nil nil free kick for so show just inside our own half uh, 20 minutes to go of this game still nil nil and we need to create something. First of all, we need to win the ball back here as they go and play ball over the top. And they are true here. They're going to get across. They do. Oh, big chance for Socho there. Hits the roof of the net as it goes over. And we were nearly behind there. And that could be the wake-up call we need. Corner kick for Socho. Here it comes in towards the near post. Barbeck gets up and heads it clear. Mwanga can't get there, so it will come back. Socho on the attack. Come into the box. Can we press out and stop the shot? Oh, they so much time. So much space. I hit the post. Oh, terrible defending from this... From us there we just didn't push out and put him under any pressure he took the shot hit the post and with 15 minutes to go it stays nil nil corner or free kick for us and pouring well takes it but their keeper comes out under no pressure at all and takes it and now that relieves any pressure on them as they go long straight away they've nobody up there so this will be our ball mwanga takes it down to barbet what can our captain do here he brings it forward into leco who's come off the bench dabo into michelin can he play something forward here he can oh cut out and comes to Bukele, Bukele in possession into Leco, looking to create something into Dabo, he gets there but oh, knocks it forward but poor touch and now Socho have possession, they try and play out, not great work, here's Fran Sergio who's come off the bench and it's over to Nasimba, oh it's a penalty, penalty for us late on here, it's Nasimba fouled as he went into the box so it will be a penalty and it should be Fran Sergio to take it off the bench, let's see is it he is our penalty taker, I'm just not sure if coming off the bench he will take it, he will. It's Fran Sergio, and he fires it just about past the keeper to put us ahead with nine minutes to go. Another late goal for us, and that is much needed. Fran Sergio coming off the bench and making an impact. His penalty wasn't the best, the keeper went the right way, got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out, the pace enough to beat him. So nine minutes to go, and we're 1-0 up. Free kick here, late in injury time, Barbeck goes for goal, and he hits the crossbar as it goes over, but there's the full-time whistle, and that could be a massive three points, a late penalty from Fran Sergio in a game it looked like not only we might drop points, we might have been beaten if their chance to hit the post had to go in, but thankfully we come out on top with another big three points. Well, two wins from two in this episode is a great way to get back into form, and uh, we have stretched our lead at the top of the table. We're now 10 points clear of Mets, who are in second place now. Paris FC dropping down to third. So we have extended our lead. And that, those could be two very important late winners we got. And hopefully our promotion, put, promotion push even is now back on track. In the next episode though, we're going to be in Coupe de France action. As we're going to take on Toulouse, uh, the team in the division ahead of us. And uh, this will be a test of if we are going to go up hopefully to that level. How will we compete uh, in that uh, league and a good chance away from home against a team in that division. We'll also take on Con in the league away from home. That'll be the two games in the next episode. If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop it a like. It'll be great to get more likes on these videos and see the people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing is the best way to make sure you don't miss any videos in this series. Videos are posted Monday to Friday at 6 pm Irish time and subscribing will make sure you get the notification. There is a playlist on the channel too if you want to catch up on the start of this series. So until the next episode when we're in cup action, cup action please take it easy.